When marketing and doing lead generation, don't forget about your feeder markets, okay? Very important. I'm in Philly. My feeder market upstream from me is the New York City metropolitan area, North Jersey. We get a lot of those people coming down and buying homes in our market. Downstream from us are the Florida markets, many Florida markets. A lot of people from the Northeast, from Philly, go down to Florida for a second home or to retire, okay? Both are feeder markets and both should be marketed to and part of our lead generation, okay? So whatever your feeder markets are, one, identify them, upstream and downstream, and put together a plan to market to those and also do some lead gen in those markets. So our upstream markets, our New York markets, we get a lot of buyers down here. And if we capture those buyers and sell them a home in Philly, sometimes they have a home still to sell in the New York area, and we'll refer that up to a New York agent and take a referral fee. In Florida, we lose a lot of residents from Philadelphia to that market. We list their home for sale, uh, or maybe we don't. Maybe they go down there and they buy first, but then we get a phone call from a realtor down there who says that they have a buyer from Philly who now needs to sell a home in the Philly marketplace, okay? So that, that business comes back up to us from Florida. So you can see why it's important to have some type of presence in your feeder markets, upstream and downstream. Now, they're pretty far, Florida's pretty far from Philly, so I'm not going to fly down there every day and door knock, okay? That's just not the way it's gonna happen. But with technology, and social media and email marketing is cheap and easy to hit those feeder markets regularly. So take advantage of technology, take advantage of the tools to accomplish this mission.